All right, another day. I took a half day off work today. I'm gonna try to end the day with seven speakers in the walls, connected, playing audio, and a screen up, playing some video. So I shut it down last night in the 11 o'clock hour. I've got all my holes set for the bed layer speakers. One, two, three, four back there. And of course we saw these from the prior recordings. So I gotta do things in order here. I'm gonna paint this back wall first, and I think I might paint at least up to the soffit on the side walls, just to, that, that's kind of where my paint job goes from not so great to a little bit better through the remainder of the space there. Paint, let that dry, I got fans running, all that stuff, so hopefully fairly quickly that will be, be done and set to go. After I'm done painting, I'm gonna fix that panel, pull that access panel, hopefully just forward a couple of inches, give me the clearance to stick that left speaker all the way into the wall. I've got rubber grommets for these holes, <clears throat> the feed holes for the speaker wire to feed them through and up the wall to the speaker location. Rubber grommets coming from Amazon today. As soon as I get those, the wire can get pulled as soon as I can pull the wire, the speakers can go in the wall. Once the speakers are in the wall, then I can set up the fabric acoustic panels here, uh, what'll be behind the screen. And then we open up that screen and hang it. And I might have an image on the, on the screen by the end of the night tonight, we'll see. All right, we are freshly painted. It's already drying. I painted the back wall and then up to the speaker on both of these sides. This is one, this one's still drying a little bit, but looking pretty good, much nicer than it was looking before. And I solved my speaker dilemma. I can now get the IWLCR6 in there. And I didn't even have to take the box out. I just pulled it out of the wall as much as I could there, making space for the speaker behind it. The speaker only comes up to about somewhere in here. So that'll work. It's a storage room, it's behind the rack. This room is pretty raw as it is, that's fine. This is a good reason to keep all your gear away in a place that you can do some things that maybe don't always look the best but are functionally pretty valuable. So I still have the utility cabinet. Actually, I, this was even a little bit better. I ran my one ethernet line, the one ethernet line that I'm using in there and now I can actually close and lock the door because I went up and under one of the holes since it was forward of the wall where before it was just going through the door and that thing was always left banging and flapping. So not too bad. First speaker installed. There's the center channel speaker wire coming through the, the conduit up through the hole, the feeder hole. My Grommets never came. Amazon canceled my order, so I ordered some new ones, but they're rubber. So I'm just gonna snip a slit in them and then slide them in after the fact. I'm tired of tired of waiting. So that's wired into the bottom of the speaker there, bare wire, threaded in on all of these. I was starting to get scared actually about how much I had to turn each of these screws before this thing finally bit and held. It's a very, very, very long screw. Just stick with it, I guess. It took a long time for it to turn eight of these things all the way. That's gonna be the longest part of installing the speaker, I think. All right, we're gonna put the right speaker in. I did the center. I'm gonna record this one. So I've got my fish tape. 20 bucks or 30 bucks from Home Depot. It's just a 20 footer. Pull it out, reel it in. And I took a little bit of yarn, tied some yarn onto the end because I have too small of a hole down here to actually fish this end through. But I can reach in there and I can just pull the, I can pull the yarn out just fine. So I've been setting this down. Setting this down, fish this straight in here until I see it. Stick my finger in and 
until I get the yarn. Keep the dust to a minimum. <sighs> a little bit of electrical tape. Tape the end over on itself. So I got a nice easy pull tab. And there we are. Leave a little bit of slack. Then I was cutting <clears throat> to about 16 inches. Now we re terminate the wire. I think as much as I do this stuff, I'd have some wire crimpers. I don't have somebody to help me right now, so I got the little end table here setting the speaker on it to connect the wire and then in the wall in the forever turning forever turning sequence couple of things that I have been doing one is marking down the serial number of which speaker goes in which position on my OneNote. So that way if I ever have a problem or a speaker dies, I don't have to worry about which box it is, uh, which one to report an issue with. So when you're doing in-walls and you can't just look at the imprint, I strongly recommend you keep track of what goes where with your serials. how long that screw is. Here's the pain point. A metal Allen wrench. Magnets all over this thing to hold the grill. And as I turn it, as soon as it gets a little bit loose, the magnets just grab the Allen wrench. I'm going to look on Amazon for a drill based Allen kit. This would be much easier to hook this up to my hand drill and just zip them. Zip them right in. Being careful not to drive them too hard, of course.
It's almost like a game to see if I can get a whole one in without dropping the Allen wrench. I don't think I've succeeded yet. One more LCR and then thankfully the IW6 is only have four bolts. So it's still a little bit of a work in progress in here, but we're getting so much closer. All seven of the bed surrounds are in. That's the surround left, back surround left. I've got my panels back up too, all three of my side absorption panels. I just fit the one in there. I had to push the corner base traps a little further back into the corners, um, the surround backs up on the wall there. Now the monster base traps that were on the wall where the speakers are, are on their stands, basically centered in the back of the, the room. There's the right surround, right surround back, symmetrical panels, and then those corner base traps there coming all the way around. There's that empty spot where a Star Wars poster or something's gonna go someday. I've got the front monster base traps pushed into the corner. The Electras are still hanging around in here. And the left center and the right all installed, ready to go. I was actually playing music on the left and the right channels while I was, uh, while I was installing the remainder of the surrounds. Boy, did it sound good. Really, really, really good. And that's without any room correction or anything applied. I could hear the para sounds, and I could definitely hear those speakers. So we're all in. The fish in the wire wasn't too bad. These ones up front here are so close to their circles, uh, or the little holes drilled through behind the curtains, that it was a really easy, really easy grab. The ones in the back were a little further. I had to get up a few feet, but I didn't have much of a problem until I got to this one over here. For some reason, I don't know if the insulation inside the wall was sticking to the back of the drywall somehow some way but it took a little bit more finagling but we still still got it so thankfully i didn't even have to pull new wire links new speaker wire links although the links that went to the same speaker positions reached up to the positions that they're in right now so that worked out great and I just finished wiring up my rack. Let's go take a look at that. So I did here what I think is some of the best wiring job I've ever done. So there's the Anthem. I've got all my HDMIs going in. They're all labeled with the clip-on, plastic clip-on uh, label kits that I had bought. I've got the new cables. Actually, let's take a look at these. World's best cable made in japan mogami wire nutric connectors all xlrs of this type and all of my rca cables for the living room are also now this type i bought some extra links those will be returned and i was able to make do thankfully with the shorter lengths of everything so there's the new rcas it's no longer the big looped nest of the tributaries cable Real short jumps to get from the zone two into the bottom amp up to the second amp and then down here. And I've got the left speaker on the top A52 and the right speaker of the living room on the bottom A52. So if I'm only using the living room, a whole A52 is only driving one channel and those speakers upstairs will get a little bit more power. And then the distribution as well, if I'm only using the theater, I'll only end up using four channels of the theater at a time, not five. 
So again, a little bit more power. But I got my speaker wire coming in here from the theater room through the wall. The height wire is no longer here. We're gonna have to pull new wire for the heights, but the heights are not installed. That's gonna be a job, be a job for another day. You can see how I use these Velcro pieces holding everything in, and I split this all out. So the, the left side surround and rear surround come right here, stabilized to the rack. So if I move the rack in and out, I'm not gonna risk pulling these loose. Same thing down here on the rights. I do the, the upper A52 plus is the left channels and the lower A52 plus is the right channels. All of the, I did, I did all of the XLRs though, even though I don't have the speaker wire or the, the heights installed, at least the XLRs are all connected. So this is the, the left channel XLRs and the right channel XLRs. And you can see how I got them all nice and tied up until they get right in to where they're going. Away from the power cables, the speaker wire and the XLR wire is away from each other now as well. Here's the A31, driving the left center and the right. That wire comes down here off to the side and then it all meets up again going into the room. And then we've got the HDMI fiber optic going to the projector and the ethernet cable going to the projector. Yeah, I'm, I'm real. I'm real proud of this. This is the best. This is the best I've ever had my rack wired. And when I get the heights, the speaker wire for the heights, it's going to be coming down through the ceiling up there. So I'll just run it straight down and jump right in here, tie it up just the same, and it'll be looking awesome. Next up, though, is the screen. I want a functional room. I'll be doing the screen next here tonight, but I want I want a functional room. The height, the Atmos speakers can wait. Everything else, though, I want good to go. 